Speak at the uh, time. Quarter past ten. Really? That late? Where does the time go, hmm? Working for Mum can do that. I'd love to say I was, but actually, I had a few wee drams last night. When I woke up this morning, I thought, what the heck? Luke's in charge. Have a lie in. Felt quite liberating, actually. Good for you. That's a compliment of sorts. Demonstrates my faith in you. Appreciate it. You gonna answer that? <laughs> Bosh. <laughs> a motorbike is not a horse, Todd. Well, for starters, you didn't flame and fall off one or nearly kill yourself. Just, fine, just do what you want, but just don't come running to me. That's not what I mean, and you know it. Oh, look, just be careful. Right. Talk to you later. Bye. Hiya. Everything all right? Oh, just uh, my son Todd trying to send me to an early grave. And here's me thinking it's a sensible one. Uh, no such thing when it comes to sun. Speaking of which, I had a text from yours. Sounds like he's having a whale of a time. Uh -huh. Well, you don't think he'd let something like not actually being married ruin his honeymoon, do you? And you do realise that he's off enjoying himself at our expense. Mm. I am not complaining. Me and Lloyd have got the pub to ourselves for two whole blissful weeks. He's waiting in bed as I speak. Oh, oh just stop right there. For his breakfast. Need something to give him to keep his strength up. Well, you know, on that point, I'll leave that to you. Just don't wear him out too much because I need him functioning from the waist up. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Half days, is it now? Yeah, I'm running a bit late. A bit. I've had a few supply issues. What sort of issues? The usual stuff, nothing to worry about. I'm on top of it, OK? Really? Well, I'm hearing different. I'm hearing you're a week behind on site. It's becoming embarrassing. It's already sorted. You sure about it? Absolutely. Fair enough. I'll smooth it over with Dave for the moment. But when I come back from Spain, I want kitchens, not excuses. You've got my word. Thanks for the understanding. Don't bank on it. The first time I went to Ibiza, the clubs weren't even that trendy. Probably still using those wind-up gramophones. Ha <laughs> ha, you're hilarious. Anyway, since you're the one with all the answers, where is it at these days? Well, it depends on how hardcore you are. You've got Pasha and Space. Then you've got your classics like S D. No, that one I do know. Yeah, but for your slightly cooler, older crowd, you can't beat El Divino. Mm -hmm. Morning. Morning, Liz. Morning, babe. Hey, morning. <laughs> What are you doing up so early? I've got a really busy day. Now listen, Abitha Town, is that still the buzz place like? Oh, Talamanca. Uh, are you planning a holiday? <laughs> I should be so lucky. Just giving your fella here a few survival tips. Oh, it's going to be so rad. Word of advice, never ever use that word again. You're going to Abitha? Yeah, um, <clears throat> me and the lads, we fly out tonight. Tonight? Yeah, it was real poor last last minute stuff like. And you didn't think to mention it like? I, I was gonna tell you about that restaurant one night, but then Well it all kicked off, didn't it? You're hopeless. Oh come on, it's only a couple of weeks. No no big deal like. Just about sums up our relationship that, doesn't it? Oh Liz. Hey. Don't bother sending a postcard. <laughs> What did I do? Right, this is doing my head in now. What's bugging you? Am I going to have to use this? Well, you're going to think this is stupid. But I'm starting to wonder if you trust me anymore. What? That's not true. Well, then why involve Tony? Well, because I'm six months pregnant with a full-time job, that's why. Tom, I don't have the first clue how this business works and I've not really got time to learn, have I? You know, we need all the help we can get. I mean, have you seen how far behind we are already? Relax, yeah, we can catch up. How? 
I don't know about you, but I can't physically work any faster. We can cope. Tom, this isn't coping, it's chaos. Do you know what? I'm gonna ring our Kirk. <laughs> oh, if that's the courier, I'm gonna scream. Oh, my God, to see you. Come in. I come bearing glad tidings. What on earth is going on? No, it's not as bad as it looks. I'm literally about to hire my brother, Tony. That's a good idea. You said you had some news? I do indeed. It took some doing, but last night I managed to get all American Booty's head honcho on the phone. You kidding? I explained the situation and after some negotiation, he's agreed to stagger future shipments. Now, it's not a perfect solution, but it means you can solve some of your cash flow problems. Hang on, does this mean that we lose our bulk discount? It sure does. Please give me some credit. The bottom line is I've bought you some time and you can sort out your infrastructure problems. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it, Tom? Excuse me. Rosie? Yeah, yeah, calm down. What meeting? Where's Luke? I didn't know anything about a meeting. All right, I said, calm down. Tell Mr Appleton I'll be right there. I wouldn't even give these to my mother-in-law, and I'd happily swing for her. I honestly can't understand what's happened here, Mr Appleton. Oh, I can. You lot are trying to shaft me. Mr Gordon's on his way over. Yeah, well, he better be. I assure you, Mr Appleton, whatever the problem is, we will resolve it. And you are... Judy Carp, supervisor. Well, no offence, sweetheart, but if I'd wanted to talk to the monkey instead of the organ grinder, I'd have brought a bunch of bananas. Mark! Oh, nice of you to join us, man. What the heck do you call them? Totally unacceptable. Shall we go into the office? Rosie? Two coffees, please. Well, that is one unhappy bunny. Oh, well, lucky you didn't get a smack round the chops. <laughs> I should have seen your face. I thought you showed great restraint. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got to hand it to Mr Gordon. He really knows how to take charge. Yeah, well, that's just it. Who is in charge? Where does the book stop? Well, it was Luke who renegotiated the contracts. Well, too many chiefs, not enough engines, and this is all going to get very messy. What's the male equivalent of a cat fight? Well, whatever it is, this is where it's heading. Yeah, as per usual, we're slap banging the firing line. <sighs> Should let you have to recharge your batteries. Oh, don't even go there. You know, strangest thing happened to me this morning. I come in to check the shift rotors for next week. And I find, as if by magic, that your name has vanished. Hmm? Now, I know you and Liz are getting it on, but a two-week bonkathon at the pub. I mean, what with Eddie going away? We're short staffed already. What are you babbling on about? I am going to Ibiza. Since when? That's all Liz earlier. She never said anything about the two of you going away. Oh, we're not. It's a lad's only trip. And she don't mind? She didn't know. It kind of came out accidentally. Oh, she's so going to love you. Look, I'm a grown man, Eileen. I saw an opportunity. I took it. I don't have to explain myself to anybody. You wonder why you've been single for so long. Hmm? Oh, look, I need a holiday, Eileen, not a guilt trip. Who's, whose side are you on? Nobody's. I'll keep your opinions to yourself, then. My pleasure. As you can see, the build quality is usually right up there. Uh, if this stitching got any stronger, it'd be on steroids. I can only imagine it must have been a fault with the fabric itself. Over here, Mr Appleton. Come and see a master at work. Who's that? Oh, my captain. Is there problems with the woman of Rooms of Order? Come on in. But Mr Go... Uh. Mr Appleton, I'm Luke Strong. If you'll excuse me, I need a word with my partner. Rosie said there's a problem. Yeah, let's take it in the office. Tony, what's going on? I'm saving your skin, that's what. What do you go off increasing Appleton's order without first consulting me? Come again? I wasn't aware I needed your permission. Well, obviously you do. When we start missing deadlines and sending out substandard products, when you increase a run like that, you have to make damn sure that every job is checked and adjusted accordingly. Now you're teaching me to suck eggs. Thanks. But I think I'll take this from here. Yeah, you do that. And you might want to explain why, when he called to complain this morning, why I couldn't pick up the phone. Well, I've got no complaints about your workers. They're a smashing bunch. Mark, you ready for that spot of lunch? Yeah, whenever you are. Luke, 
You don't mind holding the fort, do you? Sure. What partner's for? College have offered me a place. You know, I never doubted it. I mean, not just for a second. Uh, oh, mark my words. You will be Queen's Council in ten years, maybe even less. Oh, thanks, Uncle. No pressure then. Oh, how amazing is this? Yeah. So not sir. Oh, I can't wait to tell Minnie. Uh, hey, babe. Listen, you never guess where my wonderful daughter has just been accepted, hmm? Dad, I've got to get uh, just, 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 no, no, wait, if you just stop stressing just for a second, I'll... Um, oh, no, oh, oh, shh, shh, uh, uh, no, darling, listen, no, 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 no I, I haven't got the champagne yet, so I've got a good deal for it, and, uh, no, 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 yes, no, I'll, no, I'll make sure I get there in plenty of time. Now, okay, listen, about, uh, Amber. Tara? A Tara? Cut off. Problems? <sighs> Nothing she can't know. Because I would hate to see this effort go to waste. Well, Tara's a smart cookie. She's on top of it. I hope so for her sake. Considering how much this gathering is costing, she must have practically beggared herself. Never saw you as the type of bloke that went for that moisturizing gubbins. Dermatological defense serum. Hmm? Whatever you say, boss. Yes, and if you're implying in any way that that is unmanly... Ah, uh, the thought never crossed my mind. Now, if it was just, you know, plain old hand lotion... Oh, good afternoon. Is it? Hmm, let me guess. Tony's getting on your what's-its. Something like that, yeah. How did you know? Well, they don't call me Mystic Michelle for nothing. So come on, what's he been up to, then? Michelle, let the man have some peace. <laughs> Sorry, bud, I've not found the off button yet. <laughs> it's just office politics. Oh, well, word of advice. Don't take him too seriously. He might be a total control freak, but you couldn't want for better in a crisis. <sighs> Never say nice stuff about me like that. Oh, all right, you've got very soft hands. Happy now. He uses, sir, uh, lotion. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, apologies. It's a um, dermatological defence team. I was in the, the Navy. You pick up habits, you know. <laughs> too much information. I bet you never give Tony this sort of lip. <laughs> yeah, right. You only have to answer him back and his head explodes. Am I right, Luke, or am I right? Actually, I don't know what you might have heard, but technically speaking, I'm in charge. Oh. Well, you learn something new every day. Yeah, you do. I think we offended him. We? I'll put a brew on. It's the summer. This is Luke Strong. Concerning that matter we discussed, I'd like you to proceed. Umed had better be kidding when he said Tara was skin, because waiters like us don't come cheap. Aren't you charging? A lot. Mm, I don't mind taking less if it helps. Oh. Well, I mind. I need all the cash I can lay my hands on. Being a student in London costs, you know. And this girl ain't slumming it. Honestly, I didn't know he could be so insensitive. But I'm sure he didn't mean to be. Did he tell you that? Not in so many words. Because if he thinks that he can use you to soften me up, then he's got another thing coming. Well, all your horses. I mean, this is between you two. I'm staying well out. Even you have got to admit, he is out of order. Look, I can see where you're coming from, but I just don't think it's quite as simple as you're making out. Really? Well, I'm not defending him. We could have filmed me. No, it's just that he's got used to being selfish. I mean, I don't think it's anything personal. Oh, I've heard everything now. Already then. Not bad time. Quite the opposite, in fact. I mean, now that I've got you two lovebirds together, I shall say this once and only once. Until 
you start sorting out your problems like proper adults, I'm dead to the pair of you. Oh, have a nice life. You know, it's almost like you want tonight to be a failure. I desire no such thing. My only concern is you reap some reward from this enterprise. Yeah, what do you think is a complete waste of time? Ted, all I know is stopping with Martin, his dad. Hi, Dev. Hi there, Audrey. <sighs> Look, to be honest, I think we're better off not understanding the boy. About your experience? Yes, thank you. Make sure you choose from the back to your lady. Oh, right. Mm. Uh, oh. Anything else? No, just the milk, Dev, thanks. Well, that's one pound two, please. Okay. Why would you buy this? This milk has no flavour. It also has no calories. What nonsense. You have a wonderful figure. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So, what's this? Oh, well, Tara is my significant other. She's opening an art gallery. And tonight is her launch party. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. That sounds exciting. Oh, yes. We are very proud of her. Like the art, it will be a very sophisticated event. Which is why we are only inviting people of taste and discernment. Yes. We would really appreciate your support, Audrey. You would be elevating the evening by your presence. Oh. <laughs> well, seeing as you put it like that. Oh, Ted? Wild horses would have stopped me. See you tonight. Mm. Marvellous. You've suddenly changed your tune. <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm a natural salesman. This soiree should be fun. You think a black tie would be too much? Well, not for you, it wasn't. I should take that as a compliment. Oh. Five o'clock sharp at the Rovers, and I expect a frock at the very least. Ooh. Going somewhere nice? I'm late as it is. I see you're taking your partner in crime. Please don't make me feel any guiltier than I already do. I'm only teasing, Ken. I know, I know. It's just difficult. Meaning you haven't told her about Deirdre yet? I've tried to find the right words. There are only three, Ken. I am mad. Well, maybe I'm a coward. Or maybe you're simply not as interested in Martha as you thought you were. <sighs> Come on, Eccles. So what time are you off to the airport? I've got a few hours yet. And don't let me keep you. But I can't leave like this. And don't. I am not playing this game, Liz. Excuse me? Do you know how much you've hurt me? I was really looking forward to having you to myself for two whole weeks. I know, and I'm... I'm sorry. I, I really am. But? But I had a life before we got together. You knew that, Liz. So like it or lump it, is that what you're saying? Of course not, no, it's... It's just that, you know, I've got a certain way of doing things and I'm finding it difficult to change. No, hang on a minute. You can stop right there. I am not asking you to change. That is not me as a person, Lloyd. But I do want to be more than an afterthought in your life. You know you are. Because if this is going to work... There's no ifs about it. No, belt up. If this is going to work, there has to be give and take, and I'm telling you right now, I'm not taking any more of this nonsense. Fair enough. When you get back, you are so going to make this up to me, Buster. Definitely. I might just die trying. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's me done. So, what can I do you for? Uh, it's a bit old. Cut to the chase. I need to loan some money. You said you had a friend who might be able to help. First off, he's not a friend. In fact, he barely qualifies as a human. Secondly, you already knocked me back once. That was a mistake. Yeah, it was. 
You know what, forget about it. All done, all done. I can make a call, it's no skin off my nose. But these people are the real deal. They don't mess around. I need the money. You're no good to anyone with broken legs, Joe. What good am I now? Don't say I didn't warn you. Basically, the women of Wilmslow contract takes priority for the next three weeks. I want you, Sally and Kelly working exclusively on it. Hey, it's bringing out the big guns. Irrespective of other deadlines, this takes a front seat. Which makes everyone else backseat passengers. <laughs> what about absence and sickies? We cover them accordingly. Those three seats are never empty. Well, Mr Gordon <sighs> likes us to be flexible. This isn't open to debate, Sally. Crisis over. The man is back inside. Don't know where he gets the bad boy rep from. A pussycat. Had a meeting out my hand by the end. Julie, he apologises for the monkey remark. Funny, but completely uncalled for. You're all champions in his book. Bring us up to speed. We were just discussing the new rotor. What, without me? You weren't here. Then you wait, man. I've just sorted that mess out. Shall we discuss this in private? No decisions are made without my input. Is that clear? We're either partners in this factory or nothing at all. It's my factory now. I'm sorry. I'm your new boss. I didn't want to announce it like this, but since you've given me no option... As of three o'clock today, I commenced the full buyout of all of Carla's shares. So, you see, Tone, while I'll always appreciate your input, I don't really need it now. Just another one of your stupid jokes. Do you see me laughing? And we're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>